If you're a PC gamer and you don't know what VRAM is, you might want to learn because it could be the cause of your PC's lag. I was trying to fix my PC's lag the other day and I kept running into the word VRAM. What the F is a VRAM? I never went out of my way to learn this, but now I know, so let me educate you. On your computer, if you hit Windows G, it'll open up your game bar and you'll be able to see this performance tab. Now this, I feel like isn't that accurate to your actual PC's performance. I could be wrong about this, but I don't, I felt like it showed different numbers than Task Manager, but we're gonna use this as an example. So obviously this shows all your performance, including VRAM. VRAM. Now mine's at 11% because I'm using a moving animated wallpaper background. This will make sense soon. So simply explain, your VRAM is your GPU's memory. It stores the textures and shaders from your game. Simple, right? So this is my actual exact graphics card in this PC, as you can see. And here, 12G, that's your VRAM. If you go to buy or upgrade your GPU, you're going to see a lot of different options like 12 gigabytes, 20 gigabytes, six gigabytes i think is a thing you know it's essentially how much storage you, your gpu can hold with textures and shaders and gaming so if you have an eight gigabyte card and you're using 12 gigabytes of vram you're obviously going to experience some lag now i know people are going to be like well it's actually more complex than this but this is just a general simplified version of this whole thing <laughs> An eight gigabyte card can handle 1080p, whereas a 12 gigabyte card can handle like 1440p. And if you have a 20 plus gigabyte card, you're gonna be able to run 4K, baby. <laughs> so when you're maxing out your graphics in game and you're experiencing lag, check your VRAM and see if you're actually using too much VRAM than your actual GPU can handle.